Well, we are dealing with that sunshine today, but it will be somewhat of a thing of the past as we make our way into the weekend. Temperatures will begin to drop. Now, when it comes to those winds, though, they will slowly begin to diminish throughout our Saturday and into our Sunday. But we will have to deal with the cold front tomorrow, and that's what's really going to drop down those readings from those 40s today down into those upper teens early next week. We're also going to introduce the chance of some scattered snow showers as we deal with that lake effect snow machine cranking up once again along Lake Superior. So over the next 24 hours, we're pretty much going to be dealing with two fronts. Right now we have dealt with a warm front and that usually deals with cold air retreating towards the north and warm air coming in from the south. Now the opposite will happen by the time we get towards tomorrow with a cold front. So that warm air will start retreating over towards the south, cold air will advance from the north into the south, and that's how pretty much it's going to play out as we get through Sunday and even into Monday. It's really going to be the cold air that's going to win out because of this cold front, and we're pretty much going to be dealing with somewhat two of them as we go over the next 24 hours. There's the first one we're actually going to deal with is going to be very early on in the evening tonight, and then by the time we get towards tomorrow, we'll have a second one. And it's that second one that's really going to pack quite a punch when it comes to that mercury by the time we head into Sunday. So for today, though, because temper temperatures have remained above freezing, we could be dealing with a chance of some rain, just a small chance, maybe about 20%. There is some areas that could drop below freezing, and that could allow for some of that rain to mix in with that snow as we wait for that cold front's arrival. But for us here, though, we're just going to keep it on the balmier side of things. And even tomorrow, it's still not going to be too bad, but a bit cooler than what we had today, about a good 10 degree drop. So here into tomorrow, that cold front is already inching closer towards us. We're going to keep it mild into those 30s, and we could be dealing once again with a small chance of a shower. Now further towards north into North Dakota and Minnesota, that's where that cold air is intact, and that will eventually dive in for the rest of the Great Lakes gradually through the weekend. So for us here though, tomorrow we're going to keep it mostly cloudy. Sunday we could start introducing the chance of some snow and that's going to continue into Monday and pretty much situated over the same areas. So it's really just going to depend on the direction of the wind and how strong the wind will be as we go Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and even going into Wednesday. So for tonight though, 31 degrees, winds out of the south at 10 to 20 miles per hour, so blustery just like it was throughout the daytime hours. But with temperatures right around 32 degrees, we could be dealing with a rain snow mix or just pure rain. So don't forget that umbrella. Just do be careful on those roads. Now for tomorrow, though, really not warming up from that overnight temperature because of the fact that the cold front will be very close near us. Now further towards the west, we could see those temperatures already dropping earlier in the day. Further towards the east, we could still see those numbers achieve a bit more closer to 40 degrees as we could still be dealing with a little bit of that southwesterly flow throughout the morning. So for the next few days, just make sure to stay warm. Look at that, 21 degrees for the high on Sunday, 16 on Monday, dropping down to 3 degrees Tuesday morning before warming up once again into those 30s on Wednesday.